do is just go with the flow. We're here at the Diversity and Aquatics um, Conference 2018 in, in Miami at the um, Marriott Hotel right here on uh, Biscayne Bay on South Beach. And uh, we uh, just finished the awards gala and I'm get a chance to talk to some of the recipients of the awards. Here, Isabel Paradreza has received a distinguished award, the Maritza Caliano, the, o the Olympian Award. Uh, she's the Olympian. Uh, presented to Isabel, to an athlete of African and or Hispanic descent for a high level of achievement from personal effort in aquatic sports, 2018, the Diversity in Aquatics Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, were you surprised at receiving the award? Yes, I think, I, I think everyone that came up was in a state of shock because, um, you know, I, I I just came because of my love for um, diversity in aquatics and my passion to do this. So it was an absolute shock for sure. Now, we got a chance to hear in the, in the gala some of the things that you were doing to impact the community. Talk about the, the primary thing that you were doing that sort of got, your, got Maritza's attention. So um, I guess it's my club, Caps for Kids, that I started in my freshman year of high school. Uh, it's been going on for a couple of years now, and we basically, our mission is to provide the very expensive swim equipment to underprivileged um, children that need it. Um, you know, goggles, caps, all of that can mm -hmm. be outrageously expensive. And I took that mission and I decided just, you know what, let's do something. And so I first started with, um, I was connected with Breakthrough um, to Dr. Sean Anderson. And he spoke with me and he connected me to Martha. And our first big event was donating 100 goggles mm. to um, children in uh, Mexico for International Water Safety Day. Uh, I was able to jump in the pool. I was able to help some coaches translate to some of the um, children there. And it was one of the best experiences I had. And I said to myself, how can I make this impact my community here in Miami? And so I spoke with the people at Breakthrough, um, Ms. Kiara Smith and Mr. Kenneth Barrett. And they said, you know what? We need your help in helping teach our students how to swim. And so I spent the whole summer as a math teacher as well, um, teaching 300 students from grade eight, anywhere from ages fit, uh, from fifth grade to eighth grade to learn how to swim and at least learn uh, basic water safety, how to float in the pool, everything that they need to do. And as you know, a lot of them didn't have bathing suits and stuff. So we decided to give away 300 bathing suits, all brand new or donated uh, in very nice quality from my community, Miami Country Day School. Uh, we donated hundreds of goggles and hundreds of caps, and it was the best thing that's ever happened to me personally as well. That is very impressive and certainly something that made you worthy of such an outstanding award from the Olympian. Thank you. Uh, the final question. Uh, when we see you uh, five years from now, what are some things you hope that you will be doing or have accomplished? Um, I mean, I definitely want to spread... Um, this education, I really believe in education above everything else. You know, if there's something that no one can take away from you is the knowledge inside of your mind. And so I just want to educate as many students and as many kids as possible about water safety, about swimming, which isn't, you know, it's not something impossible to do. And definitely, um, I also believe in women of color and power. Mm -hmm. I want to be a role model for others as I follow in the footsteps of my own role mothers, including you know, my grandmother, my mother, um, Martisa, ev everyone, everyone that I've ever met. All right, well, congratulations again. Thank you so much. And keep up the good work, okay? Thank you. We'll be right back.